Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm here with another DIY, and this time I've made realistic glowing mushrooms inspired by the ones in Skyrim. These really aren't hard to make, and it can be made by anyone. So if you want to learn how to make these yourself, keep watching this video. So first, you'll need to get a piece of wood like this. I bought this at Hobby Lobby. Drill as many holes as you want mushrooms using a screwdriver. Just twist the screwdriver side to side, and it should make a hole pretty easily. Next, you want to get some silicone from Walmart and put a good chunk of it on a mixing platter of some sort. Now put a tiny amount of blue paint on it and mix it up. I mean it when I say tiny because if you use too much paint, the silicone will not dry, like, ever. I learned that the hard way. Now you just want to put a smudge of silicone on a bit of saran wrap and fold the saran wrap over the silicone. Now mold it into a mushroom shape, but make sure that you don't get air bubbles trapped in it. dry on a small round object or you can just fold the saran wrap under the mushroom so it'll have a nice curved shape to it and let it dry for at least three hours. After it's dried, unwrap the saran wrap slowly. You want to make sure it's fully dried before unwrapping it. Now, I thought this mushroom was way too big, so I just cut it in half. With the extra bit of silicone that I cut off, I cut it into as many tiny strips as I possibly could to make little jellyfish-like strings hanging from it. Make sure they're as thin as you can possibly make them. I'm taking some white eyeshadow and applying it to the ends of the caps and also in the middle section. Then I added a dark green color to the back part to match the color of the Skyrim mushrooms. Next, you want to glue the mushrooms onto the wood using more silicone. Don't even bother using super glue or hot glue because it does not work. Trust me, I already tried it. Now, just use silicone to glue on the little strings. 
This is a long and tedious process, so I didn't record all of it. Also, I used my hands to help glue it on, but just be aware that you can't wash off silicone. You have to either rub it off or wait till it dries and peel it off. Right now, I'm taking some toilet paper and using some clear Elmer's glue to attach it to the bottom of the mushrooms to hide the hole. When you glue on the toilet paper, it will dry hard and it'll turn greenish. When you attach it onto the mushroom, make sure that it's in a cone shape so you can stick LED lights in them. Also, don't be afraid to use lots of glue because it will not stick if you don't use enough. taking some blue LED lights that I got at Michael's and taping them to the holes that I made. Make sure that the lights are sitting inside of the mushroom. I didn't want to cut up the lights because I thought I could use them for something else if I needed to, so I just taped on the whole thing, which worked out just fine. To hide the extra glow from the lights, I'm just taking a scrap of fabric and gluing it to the back. I didn't record this, but you can also glue on a nail so you can hang it up on the wall. And we are done! I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know in the comments what you think of this project, and I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching!